Yo, it's your boy D-Love with the public service announcement on the 20th anniversary of Machiavelli the Don, AKA Tupac Shakur. Just last night, exactly at 12 o'clock, Truth About Tupac, Tupac Shakur channel, did an interview with the Daryl Harper. Resurrection has occurred. The original one and only Daryl Harper pulling up. The producer of Machiavelli, the album, the legendary album, here on the Truth About Tupac, we're bringing it to you first. What's up, huh? What's up, huh? Yo, Salute, OG. What's up, man? What's up, What? Like that? Yo. Let's get an opportunity to get a signed autograph poster. Y'all not ready. Y'all not ready. Log in. Who gonna get the official poster signed by D. Daryl Harper on the Truth About Tupac? 20 year anniversary yeah. poster, y'all. Log in. Let's get it. What's up, huh? What's going on with you, man? Man, you good? You looking good, hey, man. Man, who we got like here? Who we got here right here? I mean, this is Bankroll. This is my son, Chris, and he calls himself Bankroll. Young he try to keep one. He try to keep one. Hey, you the yeah. young prince of Don. You know, you done got it passed down. What you holding up there, man? Let me see Pop's name in lights. Is that platinum? Is that dual album? All Eyes on Me and the Macadelli album? That's what you got. What's up, I'm 17 Hertz in the building, Daryl Harper. Famous hallway. We here, checks clear. Yeah. See all the famous artwork, huh? Everybody been in here. So I want to introduce you to a very special party. We put it together. Sad, the man himself, Daryl Harper, Sad. Daryl Harper, my This is you 20 years ago. Honor's mine. Man, all is all mine, sir. And this you in the future. Hey, man, I can't wait. 20 years, man. You're such an honor, man. You see me flat in the plastic. I see you, bro. All eyes on me. This is Mac How you doing, young man? Happy Mac Belly Day. Absolutely, man. Why don't y'all come in and make yourself at home, Yeah, show us what we got going, Sad. What's up, man? We got a session going on. My boy's not going to change from Cleveland. Happy Machiavelli Day. It's the 20 year anniversary resurrection of Pop. Live on the truth about Tupac. We appreciate all your support that's got us to this point. 100 million viewers, million subscribers. And we are officially a movement. There's many different things that is taking place because of your involvement. But today is a very, very special day based on the fact that seven day theory the Machiavelli album, executive producer, Daryl Harper, is gonna tell us what it was exactly 20 years ago during the seven day theory of what it is to be amongst the Don in the flesh. We know that he is not gone. We know that he is still alive in all our hearts and in his art. This is the very reason why we brought the founder of Truth About Tupac, Mr. Asher Underwood, who has been able to keep this movement alive from bringing you interviews, interviewers such as myself, actors, the movie, everything that you've seen in this movement, we wanna, in this interview, embody what it is for the 20 years to get to this point. Darrell Harper. Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Sir. Harp, hey. AKA Harp, we appreciate you and your time that you put into the, the legacy of a legend such as Mr. Wow. Tupac Shakur Machiavelli the Don. Pleasure, Mr. D. Mr. Ash. Boy, you know, you know what's up. You know what it is, fam. So, Asher. Yes, sir. We just our first time doing this interview together. Let's start it off. We live streaming, though, so everybody share this message and this information right now. We're gonna give you some exclusive inside facts that only here on the truth about Tupac you can hear on the 20th anniversary what it was to get in the mind of the Don. The mind state that Pop was in at that time. Wow, man. The first song that I had a contribution on the uh, Machiavelli album was, I would have to say, Bomb First, if I remember correctly, it was Bomb First. Pop came to me. Uh, it, it, for all those who know stories about death roll and uh, how things were run and the cliques uh, that certainly existed there and uh, rivalries and everything that went on, um, 
Pac was a guy, first of all, was a guy, he, there was no play, he didn't like nothing phony. You had to be, you had to be real, you had to be, and um, he felt like family was family, so there was, he, he, he was anti cliquish you know what I mean? And anybody that acted in that mode, he spoke on it, he stepped up to people on it, he didn't care who you was or your clout or whatever. If we was death row, we was death row. Find out that it actually took three days, not seven days to make the album. It wasn't like he ever came to us and said, we doing this in seven days. He knew what time he had a lot in his mind uh, and he had put himself to a test, I'm gonna get this done. Now we knew that it, he was, like uh, like pressing the gas on it, but we didn't know what time. Um, actually, a lot of people feel like the album was, well, or the back of LA was recording and done everything in seven days. It wasn't. It was done in three. It was done in three. It was. It was. It was done in three. Three days. The seven. The seven. Where the seven comes in is that the mixing and all of that coming in. But him being through with the producers and knowing what he wanted for each song and all, and picking each song that was definitely gonna be on it, that was done in three days. Mm -hmm. Three days he knew what song he wanted, what was gonna make the album, what he, what he called him, what concept. He gave, you know, he gave him a name, he gave him a title, he gave, he birthed him, he, oh, okay, I know what this is. That was done in three days. He just kept coming at me and Tyrone, what? I mean, okay, give me some, what, what else you got? Okay, and if it did fit, okay. We gonna get to that, put that in, in, in the vault, but he was looking for something that was a marriage with what he had already started with this project, you know, and if he liked something, he'd just put it up, but if it wasn't Machiavelli-ish that he thought, whatever Machiavelli was in his mind, what he was trying to uh, go with, he, gotcha. okay, I like that one. But he uh, cataloged uh, it. And but he, it was a certain theme, a certain the criteria sound he was that he looking wanted for, for Machiavelli. A certain sound. He didn't even want anything like really polished, anything uh, too commercial. He didn't want anything too uh, too um, processed Radio. or whatever. Right. He was looking for a rawness. He didn't care about mistakes. He wanted those to live. He wanted the, the feeling of you catch it like it is, like like. You know, don't That's I don't want you seeing it after somebody uh, do the powder up. You know, yeah. I want you. I don't want it to be cosmetic. I want this to be raw and and, and transparent. I, so if you hear something that was catching, that's good because that's what he was headed for. You know what I mean? As soon as I seen the live stream, I had to hurry up and get down here and represent, man. Definitely, man. It's always a pleasure, man. Yeah. Out of anybody, Machiavelli, my favorite album. It flipped the game. Definitely, I'm part of this movement. I live second generation outlaw. You know what I mean? So we always wow. repping, continue repping, Illuminati. Man, much love to you, brother. Yep. Oh. Thank you for all these kind words, man. Man, yep. Thanks to the truth about Tupac. We live West Side. <laughs> we got love up in here, and my boy Asher. Hey, Illuminatiism. Keep following. Over a million. Also, we want to give a big shout out and rest in peace to Mama Faye and Phoenix Shakur. We ride for you. I want to know y'all comments. I want to know what you think about the movie. They are going to give you the tools that you need to destroy yourself. Everybody been waiting and anticipating. So, so how did you get the part for Tupac, man? Now, for one, you auditioned for the part, was it five years ago? Yeah, five years ago, 2011 in March. So, um, there was this big old national corner they have for this website, you know what I'm saying, for the truth about Tupac, right? You had to submit an audition. Follow me through the valleys of death. Babylon's most wanted, although highly favored and blessed. Illuminate the game, metro don't increase the flames. Journey through my astro plane. Ha, <laughs> it's diabolical. I was an experiment, born in a dark hole I spotted out the soil, look around All you see is dead rose petals out the concrete Stacking money, balling in these streets, nigga Cutting weeds with my thorns Close your eyes, never wake up out the storm Bucks is alarm, the way I shine Love by the sun, mama's only one Since 66, family ducking governments 14 years later, devil scheme Major crack was sent Hood full of fiends in this killer's caption, man Shout us to my Uncle Potts, Barry Cops and Watts California stars breaking laws, nigga 
It's for my nigga Big G right here though. Mm. Truth about Tupac, my nigga. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. We stay, man, just culminating the whole game. Yes, we up here exclusively, man, and uh, that was it. Just dedicated, you know, on Machiavelli's, uh, you know, 13 equals you know what, because it's all a theory, right? <laughs> Pour out a little liquor.